Hey guys, welcome back to Skull and Bones. Today I want to talk about how to unlock the manufactory locations without doing PvP. So I've learned a few tips from you guys thanks to your comments in the videos. I've learned that you can access the Helm Empire without actually having to go to the table. You can just open up the map and from anywhere in the map you can be sailing out of the ocean and you can press this, you know, button right at the top here next to your map, the Helm. And this will list all of your different, you know, factories that are producing all the different things so that you can fund it from anywhere in the world. I thought you had to be at the table for this. You do not have to be at the table for this. You can do this where wherever you are out in, in you know, in the world. One thing you should know that uh, the more factories you get here, this funding of 500 silver for each one every hour can become a little bit expensive. So do keep in mind that you will have to farm silver as you're doing this. Like I just lost like a ton of silver just doing that. But now the main point of this video is how to unlock these locations. As you can see, I have quite a few compared to like, you know, my previous video where I first went over the, you know, the processes of, of how all of this works. There is the hostile takeover event that you see at the bottom left over here, starting in two minutes. That's what we're waiting for, where there'll be several red locations on the map where people will fight in PvP and only one person will win. Sometimes you can do ones where you're the only one there, but sometimes you're in PvP and you have to fight for it. But there is another takeover opportunity that that is actually PVE, which means that you work with up to two other players. So that's three players working together to secure a location. And it's actually a blue event. I'm gonna show you once it starts. It does start every half an hour alongside the raid ones that, you know, do the raid hostile takeovers. You'll see it's happening in one second and now all the events are going to go live. You'll see there are three raid hostile takeover events at three of the manufacturers that we could go ahead and fight for if I did want to do PvP. The only thing you will need to be aware about is that the blue quest is only for one of the manufacturers and if you already own the manufactory like I have a bunch of them right now you can see I actually didn't get a blue quest this time in you know the session because it's probably for one of the ones that I already have so it's a, bit, a little unfortunate so in 30 minutes I'll have to try again and hopefully get a blue one to demonstrate how it looks so here we are again 30 minutes later and now we have two seconds left let's see hopefully we can get the event now so I can actually show you guys so we've got the three raid hostile takeovers here and you'll see this blue one the legendary heist you will need to join this one immediately you have to hold left click over here and join it either from on this map screen or you can actually go open up the actual map and you'll see it it's basically a chest with a sword and it's called the legendary heist Right? It starts in 5 minutes and 40 seconds. We have plenty of time to get there. We're, you know, at the den right now. We're actually just going to go ahead and fast travel to Fort Louis, sail there and wait for the event to start and show you how it works. So let's go fast travel there. And like I said, you and three other players can join on this event. It seems like once three people have joined, the event isn't available for other people. And there's only three participants allowed to join this event. So once those three slots are filled up, you're not going to see the event anymore, which is you know, quite unfortunate. So make sure you join as soon as you see it, because if it fills up, it's going to disappear and you lose the opportunity. Now, I've just arrived at the location. You can see it's going to be in front of me on the map over here, but it's only going to start in three minutes. So you basically just park here and wait until you see all the ships spawn in front of you. And here you can see the heist begins and we have to destroy a specific ship which has the loot that we need. And the ship that you need to destroy is the one with the yellow highlighted border around it. Don't worry about the other ships around it. You only want to go ahead and destroy the one with the yellow because as soon as you destroy that, you basically end the event and you have to sail to a den. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna like sneak up in between here and I'm going to go ahead and focus all my damage on that ship that we need to destroy. So if you need to fire your muskets or do whatever you can, Go ahead and sail right next to this. If you are using the brigand team, get next to it and go into your your single notch speed so that you basically stay alongside it the entire time so that you can just pummel it full of like, you know, pretty much everything. And every now and again, use your muskets to constantly bring down its health. And honestly, it's, it's super easy to just like, you know, destroy it. And you can see here, it's just about to go down. We actually already have boarding available and we're just gonna go ahead and finish this one off. There we go, we pick up the loot and now you have to take the loot to the den or any den on the map as quickly as you can. So you can ignore all these other ships. You will have a timer. You'll see the timers at the top of the screen behind the Royal Custodian. You'll see the timers at the top of the screen, 13 minutes, 40 seconds. Go ahead and open up the map. You're going to St. Anne from this point, or if you're you know further up in the map, you're just gonna go to the closest den possible before that timer runs out. It's not really you know that hard. It should take about like three minutes or two minutes to sail there. 
and we're just gonna go ahead and do that. Now you should know that all three players in the event will get the special loot and they will all have to go to the den. So don't worry about, you know, other players, you know, picking it up before you. You each get your own version of it that you have to pick up and take to a den. And you'll see here we are at St. Anne and we go ahead and disembark and you will see immediately as we land on the land, it should show you at the top of your screen a nice little, you know, legendary heist completed. Tanzako Lumberyard is now yours for securing the loot. And if I go ahead and open up my map and I press the, you know, the, the, the Helm Empire icon over here and I zoom out, you'll see we have a new location that is shown over here. It's this one over here that we just unlocked, Tanzako Lumberyard. Right, and now you can go ahead and fund this and add it to your, you know, your list of all the ones that you've been adding, I guess. And that's how you can unlock manufacturing locations in the game without doing any PvP. I hope this helps, and thanks for watching.